Hello everybody, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today is Blu-ray lip sync problems. Now on my particular system, this seems to be worse on Blu-rays than it is on DVDs. Now what I do is I just run you through a few things that you can try and then some of the things that I did to try and help fix this. Because it's really annoying when your voice doesn't match up with what you're saying. Here is a quick diagram of what you might have set up. Now you might have a very basic setup which is your Blu-ray connected directly to your TV with an HDMI lead which is doing video and audio and you're listening to the audio through your TV speakers. If you've got a lip sync issue playing a Blu-ray in this setup then you could try a new HDMI lead or you can try changing the settings on your TV. So let's do that first. And there's a link above now about how to clean the inside of your thermos flask the easy way. What you need to do is take your TV remote control and get into the settings menu and go to the picture settings. Now at the moment the picture mode is standard. Now what you want to do is if you've got it on your TV go to game mode. Now setting the TV to game mode makes the refresh rate the highest it will go. So this means that any lip sync problems might be cured. Try that first and see if that fixes your problem. As you can see here I've got an Ultra HD Blu-ray player which actually plays 4K discs so Blu-ray shouldn't be a problem. And I do like to watch my movies and the greatest movie of all time is of course Point Break. The system that I've got is a Dolby 5.1 surround sound so I've got the subwoofer and then I've got the five speakers all connected to my amplifier. And I've got the two speakers here at the rear of the sofa. There's a link above now on how to guides on all sorts of makes and models of different washing machines. This is my Blu-ray player here, which is connected to my 5.1 surround sound amp here at the bottom, which then connects to the TV. And there's a link above now about how to check car fuses without having to remove them using a multimeter. And this was how my system was set up when I was having the lip sync issues. So I have my Blu-ray player connected to my amp with one HDMI lead doing video and audio and then the amplifier was sending the video and the audio to the TV and also to all the surround sound speakers. Now I think the problem was that the amp can't handle all the video processing because the video is going through the amp and through the TV. What I'll do now is I'll just show you what I've done for my new setup. So here's my Blu-ray player here. If I just spin this around and just show you the cabling at the back. Whilst I'm doing this, there's a link above now about how to clean your UPVC window frames so they stay clean. This is the back of my Blu-ray player. As you can see here, I've got two HDMI leads coming out of the back of here. One which is video and audio out and one which is just audio out. Now what I've done with my new setup is I've got the audio out going directly into the back of the amplifier so that just does the sound. So literally just the sound going into the amp which is my 5.1 surround sound. And then the other lead which is the video and audio HDMI out that is plugged directly into the telly and I'll show you this in a diagram in a few moments. So this is taking video and audio to the TV, but obviously when you're watching a Blu-ray movie, you have the TV on mute. So you only have the surround sound coming out through your amplifier. And I'll just show you this in a diagram, just so it's a bit easier to understand. So I've got audio only HDMI going into the amp, and then I've got the video and the audio going to the TV, but with the TV muted. Now I think the problem was with my old system was because I was putting video and audio through the amp and I think the video coming through the amp and going out to the telly was causing the lip sync problems because it just couldn't process it fast enough, even though it's a pretty modern amp. So this is the diagram of the setup that I've got now. The other thing that you can try if you've still got lip sync problems is you might have a setup or a settings button on your actual surround sound amp. And what you can do is you can actually delay the sound processing going through the amp to try and match it up 
with the picture on the TV. So you can adjust the sound by milliseconds up or down. But really you shouldn't have to start mucking about with that. And now I've got my system all sorted, I think I'm gonna watch the greatest movie of all time. Utah, get me two. Vaya con Dios. If you've got any questions regarding Blu-ray lip sync issues or any questions about this video, then I'll be happy to help. Just ask down below in the comments section. If you'd like more how-tos on how to save you time and money, then please press the subscribe button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, everyone. If you'd like to select any other useful videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab. Time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh.